Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So IIT JAM and GATE exams are quite near and you must be preparing for it. You must be planning to give those exams. So uh, I thought of making this video in which I'm going to discuss about a three round method technique. Now this method I have already discussed on my YouTube channel earlier, but that was in an integrated video or in a, in, a, in a part of a video. So I thought of making a separate video of it so that this reaches out to most of the students which are watching this channel, right? So this particular technique or this particular method of appearing or giving the exam makes sure that you attempt all the question and it also makes sure that you do minimum mistakes, okay? So what this three, uh, three round method technique is, how to use it, what are advantages, all these things I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So in case if you are giving any of the competitive exam, be it CSRNet, be it GATE, be it IT Jam, this method is going to be super useful in them. And uh, yeah, now without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. So a usual method of giving a computer based test that means CBT mode exam is like you see a particular question once on the screen. There is an option to see the complete question paper, but that rarely anybody does, right? Everybody goes with the trivial or the default method that means he sees one question at a time on the screen and tries to solve that and he goes to the next question and next and next, so on right now the disadvantage with this whole thing is that at one time you are going to see only one question and you don't know what is the next question about so the decision making thing that whether you have to solve this question whether you have to take risk on this question or you should leave this question or you should not waste much time on this question that goes here so in case if you are thinking of let's say let's try to solve this question the current question which i'm seeing on the screen let's try to solve this let's try to give my time on it and let's say that you started giving it uh, you started solving it but it took a lot of time of yours three minutes four minutes and after that you were not able to solve that question so what will happen that your your precious time is going to get wasted on that question okay so that is one thing which is going to kill your time for the exam for the other questions which actually needed your more attention not only it kills your time for the other question it also does not let you know that uh, that whether the, you you have to do this question or not okay so that decision making ability also goes in this particular method now the three round method technique works in this way that you are going to give this exam in three rounds okay you will be having round number one round number two and round number three okay now the first round is like a sprint okay this round is going to be at most you can give 40 minutes to this so I'm considering the overall exam time to be three hours, which is usual time of GATE, IIT, JAM, CSN, and all the major exams. So I'm considering that time uh, as the as the standard time. So 40 minutes you can give to round number one. So in that round, what you have to do? You have to do two things. First, you have to start looking at the questions one by one. Okay, you have to basically see all the questions. You have seen the first question, read, read about it, go to the next question, read the second question, read the third question, read the fourth question, and so on. Total questions in the question paper are 65, including uh, the, the general aptitude question. I'm telling for uh, GATE and IIT JAM. For CSR, net number of questions will be more, of course. So in these 40 minutes, you have to look upon these questions one by one. Okay. Now, once you are looking upon these questions, simultaneously, you have to do one more thing. What is that? You have to tick or you have to answer those questions, which are super simple or those type of questions, which you have already solved in the previous year's question or in the test series, because see, Every year you will get some questions which will be like similar or which will be like quite same as the previous year's question might be asked like three or four questions will be like direct questions, three or four questions will be like which will be similar to the previous year question. So these questions are the one which you are super comfortable with. You are 100% sure about those questions. So during this round one itself, you have to mark these questions. Okay. So one, you have read all the question paper in first round and second, you have marked those questions for which you are super comfortable with, right? Now, the third thing which you have to do in this particular round is you have to also mark those questions, which questions you think that they you have studied that topic and you will be able to do that question if you devote a little bit of time on that, okay? Let's say you have studied electrochemistry and you have studied nurse equation. There is a question in, from the nurse equation, which you know that, yes, I will be able to solve if I give a little bit of time on it. But you don't want to give that time in round number one because round number one is a sprinting round in that you you, you cannot uh, like you cannot give time to a single question over there. You have to give 40 minutes to read all the questions. Okay, so you have to mark that question for review. So there is an option in all the computer based test exam where you can either flag the question or either mark for review. So for gate and IIT jam, you will be having option for mark for review. You can click mark for review for those questions. Now you have to keep doing this 
for those questions in round number one. So round number one, three things we are doing. First, we are reading the complete question paper. We are looking at the complete question paper. Second, we are answering those questions which we are super comfortable with, which are straightforward and easy questions. And third thing which we are doing over here are marking those questions which we are uh, like which we know that yes, we will be able to do. So now after 40 minutes of the exam, you are actually ahead of others because now you have three things which others don't have and as advantage. One, you know the com complete question paper, you know the level of exam, whether the exam is tough or easy, what type of questions are asked, you have all that in your mind. Second, you have done few questions which were straightforward and easy ones, right? And third, you have marked those questions. Basically, you have scrutinized the whole question paper in three ways. One is super simple questions, one is the one which you have studied and need some attention. Third ones, which are totally different type of question which you have not even studied about. So basically you have uh, seen the whole question paper, you have scrutinized the question paper and by the end of uh, 40 minutes, you have also done few questions. So this is going to be your round one. Round two, you can give two hours for that. 120 minutes, you can give completely for this, okay? Now, during this 120 minutes or during these two hours, what you have to do? Now, you have to give this time to those questions which you have marked for review in round number one. Now, you have to go to those questions one by one and one by one. And in that way, you will be able to answer those questions. Basically, now you know that, yes, I have enough time. I have already solved the easy ones. So, I can devote a little bit of time to these questions, okay? Now, sit uh, like relax do not panic because you already know the question paper you will not be uh, of course you will not be panicking after that and now you already know that these are the number of questions which i know and i can solve so round number two will be like totally solving the questions like answering them properly reading them properly applying formula applying equations using calculator doing all the calculation stuff to get the correct answers so this is going to be a round number two right so 120 minutes completely devote for that. Now comes round number three, which is the last 20 minutes uh, of the exam. So during that time, you can give that time to those questions which you not even studied. So see those questions which you have not studied, they are the ones which actually kill the time usually because you have not studied them. But once you see them with the usual method, you get to see a question. You don't go to the next one. You try to read that question, try to solve that question and that question kills your time. But here you have already scrutinized that. So you are not going to mix that question with the other ones. You will be doing that at the end of the exam. And in that way, those questions which were like uh, super difficult or that questions which you have not studied about or the concept which you have not studied about or some question, let's say, is asked from some research paper or something. In that case, you can just look at those questions for the last 20 minutes, try to do um, see them and think about it if you want to take the risk or not. Okay, depending upon that, how many questions you have done in round two and round one. Depending upon that, you can plan that whether you have to take risk, you have to solve those questions or you have to leave those questions. Or maybe if you read it properly, if you if you understand the question properly, you, maybe you can do one or two questions out of there as well, right? So this is how three step or you can say three round method is going to work. Now, of course, there are a lot of advantages of it. So the first thing is you will not be panicking about the exam now, okay? First thing is because you have read the complete question paper in the first 40 minutes. So you will not panic about it and that is the best thing about this particular method. Second thing is that you have scrutinized the questions, you know where to invest time on the question paper and where not to invest time, right? And the third thing is in this method, it is rarely, rarely possible that you are going to miss the exam because in the first 40 minutes itself, you have, you have read all the questions. So you, you won't be, it won't happen at the end of the exam that you will say that uh, the time was less or I was not able to see the last five questions or I was not able to see the last uh, Two, three questions so any question is not going to remain untouched or uh, in that way you will be giving the exam to the full of your potential this is the way how you can score better in the exam without panicking without wasting time without leaving or without you know uh, with a proper time management so this is how uh, i also used to give my gate exam and i will suggest you if you think about it you have few days left for the exam try to give your test series uh, on applying this particular method and see whether this method makes some difference or not i'm quite sure it is going to make for uh, it is going to make a difference for your exam as well so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching so see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform 
the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much